Okay, so the other day my friend was round and we were just in the garden and I was saying how I had some Brussels sprout plants that had died off and I didn't know if that meant that the Brussels sprouts had grown because you know like if you have a potato plant they all die off and then you dig it up and there's loads of potatoes. And this was from one of those little sets that say like grow your own wacky red Brussels sprouts and stripy tomatoes. So it's that kind of thing. I've never really grown Brussels sprouts before. I'm not really into them but I was like oh let's just see how these go. So we we're going through all the soil and we found what we thought was like a Brussels sprout that hadn't properly developed and come away from like the stem or the stalk, whatever you call it. So we opened it up and inside was some sort of grub and initially we thought that a fly had laid its eggs in like the soil and they'd eaten into all the Brussels sprouts and pretty much destroyed everything because if you've ever grown like vegetables and fruit, that's usually what happens and it's really annoying. So we found three of these and we we're opening them and we kept finding these grubs and we we're like okay we've got to google it to find out what this is. Turned out they were leaf cutter bees. Now I love all kinds of animals and I'm really into our wildlife and everything and I feel so dumb because I've never heard of these kind of bees. They're a solitary kind of bee okay so they don't live in the big hives. So we watched a few videos online and saw the bees actually making these little cocoon like things which I believe are known as cells and they pretty much cut off leaves, bring them together, they stick them together with their saliva and they make this perfectly circular shaped lid. It's just amazing when you actually look at these close up. So we found another one of these in the soil and since we knew what it was now we just left it as it was. And we felt so bad that we'd opened all the other three so we put them back in the original cells um, as well as we could like some of them had been ripped open a bit by us because we're stupid because we were just thinking it was maggots and ruined our vegetables and we were like what is this so what we did was if we could find some other leaves or parts of the original cell we wrapped them back round and made them a little lid I have this insect hotel that I got like a year or so ago and it's actually never been used by insects only arachnids like spiders been making webs around them so we uh, popped the cells into the bamboo pieces because I believe that a lot of leaf cutter bees actually use bamboo when you have these sort of houses in your garden and they can actually make a perfectly shaped cell just fits in the bamboo. So we put all four of these into the bamboo, all our partially man-made cells for them because you know our bees are dying out we always get told we need to look after our bees and so i really hope these guys pull through and they're all good they seem totally fine when i had them out of the cell so hopefully now i just put them back in they'll be okay fingers crossed and a cute little thing i noticed when i was filming quite close up is one of them had like this little thing that could potentially be its stinger in the future it's just this little thing dangling off i hope it's a stinger otherwise it's a male and we filmed the wrong thing right there. But anyway, yeah, so I kind of wanted to show you this because I thought they were so cool and anyone else interested in like wildlife, animals and so on, they might be interested in this like I was. So yeah, I hope you found this video interesting and thank you for watching.